Probability. The chance that an event will occur. Outcome. A possible result of a probability experiment. If I was to toss a coin, there would be two possible outcomes. Either the coin would land on heads, or the coin would land on tails. Uniform probability model. In a uniform probability model, each outcome has an equal probability of happening. So you can see in the blue spinner, that would be a uniform probability model because there's an equal chance of landing on the happy smiley face and the sad smiley face. But on the right in the red spinner, that would not be a uniform probability model because there is not an equal chance of landing on the happy smiley face and the sad smiley face. Random. Outcomes are random when each outcome is equally likely to occur. So if I was to roll a number cube, there's an equal chance of rolling a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 6. So the outcomes would be random. Determine simple probability. In order to find the probability, we can use a fraction. And in this fraction, the numerator will be the number of favorable outcomes. And the denominator will be the number of possible outcomes. It is important to note that probability can be written as a fraction, decimal, or percent. In this video, we're going to represent probability with just the fractions. I will also include links in the description to videos that explain how to convert between fractions, decimals, and percents if you would like to review those skills. Example number one. What is the probability of rolling a six on a number cube? Well, if we look at the fraction above, in the numerator we have the number of favorable outcomes. In this example, that would be the number of chances of rolling a six. If we were to look at the number cubes at the bottom left, we can recognize that there is only one chance of rolling a six. So the numerator in our fraction would be one. The denominator is the number of possible outcomes. Well, if I was to roll a number cube, there would be six possible outcomes because I could either roll a one, two, three, four, five, or six. So the denominator would be six. And the probability of rolling a six on a number cube would be one sixth. Example number two. What is the probability of rolling an even number on a number cube? So our numerator is going to be the chances of rolling an even number. If we look at the number cubes at the bottom left, there are three chances of rolling an even number. We could roll a two, a four, or a six. So our numerator will be three. The denominator is the number of possible outcomes, which in this case, there are six possible outcomes. One, two, three, four, five, or six. So the denominator will be six. So the probability of rolling an even number on a number cube is three six. But wait, actually we can simplify that fraction. We can divide both three and six by three. When we do this, 3 divided by 3 is equal to 1, and 6 divided by 3 is equal to 2. So the probability of rolling an even number on a number cube is 1 half. Example number 3. What is the probability of choosing a red block from the bag? So you can see in the bottom left of the screen, we have a certain number of blocks in a bag, and we want to determine What's the probability of choosing a red block? In the numerator is the chances of choosing a red block. Looking in that bag, I can see that there are three red blocks. So our numerator will be three. The denominator is the number of possible outcomes. Well, all together in the bag, there is nine blocks. So our denominator will be nine. Once again, we can simplify this fraction. We can divide both three and nine by three. When we do that, three divided by three 
is equal to 1, and 9 divided by 3 is equal to 3. So the probability of choosing a red block from the bag is one third. Okay, it is your turn to try it out now. There are two problems on the screen I want you to solve. I would recommend you pause the video now, solve, and then resume when you're ready to see if your solutions are correct. All right, let's take a look. The probability of choosing a blue block from the bag is 3 tenths, and the probability of rolling an odd number less than 5 on the number cube is 1 third. If you had either of these incorrect, I would recommend you pause, go back, and see if you can find your mistake. Thank you for watching.